Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, appreciate you all checking out my first video, The Art of Flaku. Uh, definitely took a lot more time being the intro um, to the series that I'm doing about the zombie apocalypse type builds. So uh, with that in mind, um, now that you made the flock, you're probably wondering, well, what the hell do I do next? Well, I got this right here. Boop. This is a 12 by 12 piece of uh, XPS or extruded polystyrene. Uh, just cut from a sheet uh, with a craft knife and I'm going to make myself 12 by 12 panel tiles for uh, modularity sake uh, because I want to be able to have urban environments, uh, rural environments or country environments and uh, saying that just we made the flock let's put it to good use and uh, use some of this stuff up. Um, the thing that's really great about this is also uh, some people when they see coffee around flock they think Oh, it's gonna smell. It's gonna. It's gonna be. It's gonna smell like coffee. Well, first off, what kind of sicko are you? In my opinion, the thing that coffee smells bad. But secondly, I got you covered. Don't worry. This thing, zero odor. I mean, unless you smell the icker and blood of your fallen enemies and zombies, of course. You know. I mean, zombies are enemies, right? I. I would assume. But you can use them tactically as well. You've all seen that, so. They're Switzerland. In my opinion. Zombies are Switzerland. In a world gone to shit scenario. But yeah, I mean. They're a more aggressive version of Switzerland, I suppose. But, you know. They don't take sides. They just kill anything that's alive. So, anyways. Let's make some fucking tiles. So I'm going to do this quick so you don't have to see all the painful process, of course. But I take some of that extreme Elmer's glue and take it with a little bit of water and water it down. And apply that to the top of my 12x12 polystyrene that I cover with Mod Podge and the base color of the Holly Branch Green. Uh, the green uh, is going to be uh, an aid for us to help us out because it's going to be brighter. But it will act as a fourth color and also lend itself to the other two colors that have holly branch green in them as well. So if we miss any spots when we're flocking, it won't look so bad. So you see me here going over it with the, the flock on some tin foil, and I use the tin foil to kind of help keep the flock and throw it back in. Then I go back over in certain spots that seem kind of white, and I just wanted to, you know, catch some more. So I just go back over and sprinkle on a couple more places here and there. And it's not a big deal, you know, I mean, kind of pat it down here and there. Just It doesn't have to be perfect, but you just want to have a good fair amount of coverage across uh, each of your tiles that you're working on. So that's what I'm doing here, just applying it. And then I let it dry. And then afterwards, you know, you still might have a couple spots here and or there. So yet again, just kind of going back over it, being the perfectionist I am, because I want these things to last uh, for a while and look good the whole time. So, you know it's worth the effort that you put in for the results that it yields so you know just going along and kind of painting it in and everything like that and uh... yeah you know just sort of shake off all the excess after it dries and people usually say that flocking loses a lot well with this extreme glue it actually stays on quite well but uh... that's not the, what's gonna seal the deal if you will um, <clears throat> so after we kind of look at the textures and everything like that that we got going on here it's kind of nice I'd say um, it lends itself so after that I just took down some watered down Mod Podge and uh, applied it but uh, uh, it was an experiment I wasn't sure man I sure hope that dries clear but as you can see in the stages of drying it was a complete success um, it works out really well you flock up a few of your trees and other little knickknacks that you got at the base as well and you can see how it lends itself and it blends in really nice uh, right here is my uh, little modular uh, fencing as well. But we'll get onto that in another video or two down the road. But yeah, I mean, pretty short, pretty simple, pretty sweet. Uh, the next time I'll do uh, more urban uh, tiles and show you how I do those as well. Uh, just keep tuning in, like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. 
uh, and I'm being lazy, this is just a handheld <laughs> little wrap up at the end when I'm doing my editing, because I'm just trying to get this thing done with. Uh, realistically, this video shouldn't have took me this long, but uh, I just got a new job and yada, yada, yada. My bad. So, um, but yeah, I'm going to just try to keep on top of things. And uh, if you guys could do me the huge solid favor of uh, liking my videos, watching the videos, sharing the videos, so on and so forth. I say you're a natural 20 in my book and I appreciate you to the fullest extent that one human can have the capacity to appreciate another. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm babbling and I appreciate you guys tuning in and checking my stuff out. As always, keep the craft going, but my and ladies, hey, God, you're so stupid sometimes. Yeah, I know. <laughs>